July the 14th, 1945. At the top secret research facility in Los Alamos, New Mexico, a heavily armed convoy was loaded with parts for a new kind of bomb. This was the start of a journey that would end in Hiroshima. This bomb was the product of three years' research and had cost $2 billion to develop. But at this stage, the technology was still completely untested. Two days later, there was a chance to find out. In the desert of New Mexico, the scientists and soldiers of the Manhattan Project gathered for the first ever test explosion of an atomic bomb. A hundred to one, we crack the Earth's crust and destroy the whole world. Fifty to one, we ignite the atmosphere and only destroy New Mexico. Someone shut Fermi up. He's frightening the MPs. Ten to one, it fizzles out. If that weapon fizzles out, each of you can look forward to a lifetime testifying in front of congressional investigation committees. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. The explosion vaporized the stainless steel tower holding the bomb. The intense heat melted the desert sand, leaving an area of glass. The force of the explosion was estimated to be the equivalent of 67 million sticks of dynamite. The bomb had originally been intended for use against Nazi Germany. But its backers now had another target in mind. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> well done. War's over, General. Yep, as soon as we dropped a few of these things on Japan. Good work. For scientific director Robert Oppenheimer, it was a moment of terrible truth. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. By July 1945, the war in Europe was over. Nazi Germany was defeated. But in the Pacific, the war against Japan was raging on. After the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, American forces had fought their way back across the Pacific, island by island, with savage hand-to-hand -hand fighting. <laughs> 